right now in our lives. Barbara King is joining us live from her amazing space, one of the many spaces that she's created, not just here in the Philadelphia area, but in Florida as well. She brings this exclusive line to us at QVC, and right now it's all about joy. I look at these and I smile. I don't know if, if you were thinking Florida, but I am. I look at this first one and I'm like, take me there right now. This is the beautiful, sweet birdhouses. They are brand new. They are quite tall because because the stake is 58 inches tall, which is just two inches shorter than I am. And we have a couple choices for you. We have the multi, which is first. And Barbara, I love how they're distressed. They are so darn cute. Yes. The little bird on top is just getting me. In the middle, you're gonna <laughs> order the white, which is kind of like your little birdie condo. That's already popular. And then last but not least, we have the green. So these are brand new. They're totally enchanting and adorable and they're on five easy payments or ten, of ten dollars so walk us through your your thoughts and your design behind these well they are beautiful they are a great height getting layers into the garden i think is so important this is an easy way to do it but it also is then going to attract the birds because they're functional bird houses they are so cool they look fun together all three of them together would be so spectacular in a garden and fun looking but having the birds in them makes it all the better you know i i know that we've talked about my love of cardinals and i use you know there are a lot of robins out today they just make us happy you know the other day about two they or do. three weeks ago i heard something and i'm like what is that? And I said, oh my gosh, the birds are back. Like it was the first morning that you could hear their yes. little chirping outside. So let's take a look at our first one, which is the multi. And that is just so darling, so much fun. Yeah, we wanted to give you that beachy look with that one. The faux copper roof is awesome. It's a metal roof. It just goes nicely together with the wood. The material looks really awesome. The colors are very, very fun and pretty and having that distressed look, I just really like it. And then, and then I, the wood pole. Oh, it's beautiful. Then the white one I call our birdie condo. Like this is kind of like the high rise is the next one. Yeah. Yeah. That I really like that is more, you know, stately looking. It's, it's a piece that traditionally we have loved in our store here. So we wanted to bring that look to our customers at QVC. Love all the perching points on that. It's just right. pretty. And you do have the little opening in the back, so you can, if you if you do go yeah. in and clean it out after every year, you can do that. It's up to you. And then we have this classic green. Yeah, that classic green was just pretty. We love the green in the garden. So many times we forget to add the green to the garden. We think it's all there, but having it up layered like this on that pole, the stake that goes right into the ground. Love the medallion accent that we added to it. It ties the color of the roof into the birdhouse. And these pieces you could put into a planter like we have there. They really look nice like that as well, or right into the garden. Right, I'm with you to get more than one. All three, one of yeah. each looks absolutely darling. And you know, these are the times when we're looking, if it's a tiny yard or it's a larger yard, it doesn't matter. Even if you, you know, even if this is a patio, I love the planter idea because you know, you might have a very small footprint where you live in an apartment, but you're trying to maximize that space. And even with some of your pretty plants in a, in a, you know, a planter like this, it looks, I think it looks so sweet and so pretty. Yeah, it looks so cottagey, so pretty. And it's those finishing touches that after I've done the garden, I'm like, oh, what does it need? Well, when we put these birdhouses in, that was exactly what it needed. It needed a little bit of fun. It needed some height and it needed something that's going to attract the birds in these fully functional birdhouses right. that have the clean out hole on the back. So you can, you know, 
clean them out and keep the birds coming year after year. Yes. And they will find these houses. Oh. If I was a bird, I'd want to live in one of these. For I, I sure. move into the white one, but I'm not the only one because the white is flying. So if you oh. want the white, there's only 600 there's... left. And you know, you hit the nail on the head, Barbara. I have a friend that's an interior designer, and she always says, don't forget about height. Everybody forgets about the vertical. I mean, yes, even outside in the garden with the trees and everything else, we kind of forget about the vertical. And that's that beautiful vertical. I'm telling you, when we bought our house and we've been in it now 16 plus years, um, the previous owners had bird houses all over the yard. And I think it's one of the things that made me fall in love with the house when we were driving up the driveway to take a look at it because I was like, oh my gosh, like these, this is so pretty and they love their animals and they, you know, they love their birds mm -hmm. and you really send a message to others that come and visit you and our friends yeah. can come back and visit us again that you're a really nurturing person that just like loves nature. So if you want the white, these are all brand new. Please don't wait. That's by far the most popular and kind of getting limited. Look at these gorgeous photos that Barbara has shown us from uh, Florida. They are amazing. Now, I have to tell you, there's a tie-in to this hour, the grand finale of our garden guide and the next hour because Barbara sounds great. She 